Before we begin, remember to like and subscribe, as your support is really appreciated. I also want to give thanks to Predator Cues, Town Chalk, and Kamui Tips. Without them, these videos wouldn't be possible. Philly Fingers here, going over how to use the tangent line and how to practice by playing a game called Russian Pool. To start, you place the cue ball at the head of the rack and using an object ball, you carom off the cue ball into the pocket. And that's how you score. Now you can take any object ball and as long as you carom off the cue ball into a pocket, you score a point. In this case, I'm going to try to carom off the cue into the top right corner. As you can see, it's not as easy as you think. The game starts off very defensively, trying to break up the rack, so let's fast forward a bit. As I carom the 7 ball off the cue into the side pocket, you're going to see that this game relies heavily on carom shots. That's the only way you can score. That said, you start to really focus on the object ball being the cue ball and where it's going to go. Now as I walk around, I have to look at this from a different perspective. Since I'm using the two ball as a cue ball, I'm looking to say, where could I scratch? Where could I hit the actual cue ball in order to scratch? So it's a different mentality, but it starts to get you thinking about cue ball position. Where ideally when you're playing other games, you don't want to scratch, but you do want to be in control of where that cue ball is going, what direction, what speed, and all this starts to come into play when you're playing a game like this. Too often when you're playing 8-ball or 9-ball, you just want to make the ball. And where the cue ball goes becomes irrelevant to you. You just play it wherever it lies. In this game, you're really focused on where that cue ball would be going. And that's the only way you could actually make these shots, and that's the only way you're going to score. Keep in mind, while playing this game, you learn the ability to identify a scratch shot, which is how you score. But now that you know how to identify a scratch shot, when you go back to 8-ball or 9-ball, you could avoid that scratch giving you that knowledge base that you really need. There's also times playing 8 or 9 where you can't make a direct shot and you're going to have to know how to carom a ball in. And this also prepares you for that. Keep in mind in this game we also want to control the cue ball. So yes, we do want to carom the ball in, but as you see the cue ball movement in this shot is very little and that's because I need to make the 3 ball in the same pocket. So you definitely want to wrap your mind around controlling both balls at all times. And at times, as you see here, I may actually have to kick and come off of the cue ball to score a point. So this is how I like to practice my carom shots and using the tangent line. But let me know what you guys think. Until next time.